Hello all. Today we will discuss the different advantages of active filter over the passive filters. In the previous lecture, we have studied that passive filters consist of only passive components that is resistor, inductor and the capacitor, whereas active filter consists of passive components plus some active components like operation amplifier and transistor. Here I will discuss the advantages of active filter by taking the active component as operation amplifier. So the first advantage is that is gain and frequency adjustment flexibility. As op-amp is capable of providing gain, the input signal is not attenuated. Let's discuss this with an example. For example, I have a high pass filter, which is nothing but a combination of capacitor and inductor or a passive high pass filter. As there is no gain component or no active component present in it, whatever the input has been applied, that will be attenuated at the output. So when we cascade such systems for to get a high order, second order high pass filter, when I cascade two low pass, two high pass uh, first order filters, we get an output V out, but the V out will be less than the V in because if I take the intermediate voltage V in dash, which is the output of the first order high pass filter, I can say that it is a passive filter. So V in dash will be less than the V in that is the input voltage and Secondly, in, if I take the second filter that is of again a first order high pass filter, I will say this output that is available at the resistor R2 V out will be less than the V in dash. So I will get this relation that V out will be very very less than the V in. So your input reduces uh, to a very small value at the output in the case of passive filters whereas in the case of active filter that attenuation or that uh, signal that has been reduced to a lower value will be accommodated due to the high gain of the active component. Second is the no loading problem. Because of high input impedance and low output impedance of the op -amp, the active filters do not cause loading problem with the source or load. So to discuss this, let's take again a high pass first order filter and I have connected a load across the resistor. A load is nothing uh, but the point, uh, but the place where I'm getting the output from where I am taking the output. So depending upon this load value, the effective resistance of this will be modified. For example, if load value is high, then the parallel combination of this high value and the R will be resulting into some different value. And if this load value is less then this small value and this R value in parallel will result into some different value. So the overall output resistance will be different for the different load values. So the cutoff frequency will also get modified because we know that the formula of cutoff frequency Fc is equal to 1 by 2 by Rc. This R is the effective uh, resistance that is over here if I take it with R dash this will be parallel combination of R dash and load. So this problem is now again been overcome due to the presence of the active filter. For example, when we are using an open and open has an advantage of high input impedance and low output impedance. So when we connect our inverting terminal with the output of the operational amplifier, it acts as a voltage follower. So the voltage follower is having a unity gain. And when we connect this input at this operational amplifier, whatever the input that has been applied over here will be available at the output. This input can be through a filter. So we use op -amp as buffer at the output. Here I have used this op -amp as a buffer at my output and at the input I have connected this RC filter circuit. Here this RC, sorry this is C and this is R. This RC filter circuit is a, again a high pass filter circuit. So Again, the loading problem has been overcome because whatever now I am applying over here, the load will not affect this resistance because this is acting as a buffer. So this load is now, or I can say the resist, uh, if, uh, I can say the frequency or the cutoff frequency is now independent of this load. So in this case, Fc will be equal to 1 by 2 pi Rc, where this R is nothing but this one. 
one more important factor is that if I want to increase the gain of this system as I have discussed in the first case the gain I can connect this operational amplifier in the non-inverting configuration for example to get gain we can configure our op-amp in either inverting or non-inverting configuration I have taken here the case of a non-inverting operational amplifier where the input has been applied at the input v, uh, at the non-inverting terminal and the gain is 1 plus RF by R1 when this input is through a filter as in this case you can see this is the filter circuit So whatever the input that is applied that will be filtered by this RC which is a low pass filter circuit and the output that is being available that is Vx will be amplified by this operational amplifier and the gain of this operational amplifier is 1 plus Rf by R1. So we can say that this V out will be equal to 1 plus Rf by R1 of Vx where Vx is nothing but the filtered output of this RC low pass filter. So uh, these are the two advantages of active filter or passive filter. Third one is the cost. Uh, because of variety of cheaper op-amps, that is IC741, that is the most common uh, or available IC or operational amplifier, that is very cheap. Active filters are more, more economical than the passive filters. So these are all about the advantages of active filter. Thank you.